Hi, I'm your host, Caleb Lawrence in sunny Santa Cruz, California, with today's Market Bull Financial Update for June 29th, 2020. The major averages finished the second quarter on a high note with one of their best performances in 20 years, despite appalling economic fundamentals and falling earnings. As the Fed's balance sheet passes $7 trillion on a 70-plus percent increase, more than double the amount of stimulus applied during the great financial crisis in 2008. Come the end of July, the harsh economic reality of the assorted COVID-19 shelter-in-place orders and business closures will become apparent. Doubly so if the economy locks down again in the face of sharply rising infection rates, as seems highly likely at this point. As July ends, the supplemental unemployment benefits end along with many of the various eviction moratoriums about the same time. Also set to roll up will be the payroll protection program and the benefits afforded by the CARES Act, all of which will put a huge dent in personal income and spending in the months to follow. I would think that many small businesses, in addition to the ones who have already given up, will throw in the towel in the face of another lockdown, or as is becoming increasingly apparent, fundamental changes in consumer behavior in an attempt to avoid infection. This last item doesn't get anywhere near the attention it should by the lamestream media, and was also extremely prominent following the end of the Spanish flu in 1919. Agricultural prices fell hard in April, dropping 9% on large declines in livestock, feed, and related products. The largest monthly decline for the series since 2009, fruits up sharply for a second month, gained 9.3%, and grains up 1.3%, were the only categories to post an increase for the month. Reduced global demand and choked supply chains are creating more problems for the agricultural industry, causing some to destroy crops or livestock, and dramatically reducing future farm income prospects. The conference board reports that consumer confidence bounced off its lows in June with an 11.5 point gain to 98.1, slightly better than expectations. All the subcomponents improved as the economic reopening lifted consumer spirits. Unfortunately, with sharply rising infection rates, this trend looks to be very short-lived, especially if another round of support doesn't do more to help consumers, small businesses, state and local government, as all these groups still face huge challenges. The Standard & Poor's 500 index closed today at 3,100.29, up 47.05, while the Nasdaq finished the day at 10,058.77, up 184.61. Gold ended trading at $1,796.90 an ounce, up $15.70. This is Caleb Lawrence, Registered Investment Advisor. If you would like to make an appointment, I can be reached directly, 831-334-5318, or through Microsoft Teams video conferencing at caleb at clinvestments.com. You can also find me on social media, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Advisory services are offered through Caleb Lawrence, Registered Investment Advisor, Inc., and with that, you're up to date.